Hey guys, welcome back to the e-bike repairs YouTube channel. My name's Dash, and I take apart and fix normally electric bikes and uh, batteries and all that fun stuff. Uh, today, what I've got instead though is uh, one of these. This is a where's it gone? There you go, a Henchy heated jacket. Uh, what happens is you plug in the battery pack, and it should do heaty things, it should, there you go, glow red and start to warm up. Unfortunately, as you can see with the, uh, the battery connection here, doing all sorts of horrible flashy nonsense, I have deduced that there's a bad connection just in here in the USB. It does have a 90 degree end, I don't have a 90 degree end, what I've done is I have chopped the end off a half decent quality uh, USB cable, loads of the free stuff, it's a bit mouldy because it's been in a drawer but it doesn't matter, lots of the cheap stuff you get, um, the cheap cables, they'll come with this thinner type of cord and what that has, it's only got inside it a uh, plus and a minus, so it will only do power, it won't do data, so a charging cable for a piece of cheap electronics from uh, Amazon, eBay, you know, somewhere where cheap stuff can be found. Um, I'm not going to use that because I know <laughs> there you go, <laughs> just like that, it will break right there, and then I'll be left with the same bloody problem as before, and, uh, well, that cable will start to do that, then it will break again, no point. What I've got instead is one of these, with a half decent moulded end that I've cut the end off, um, I've pre-cut and tinned the wires and I've chopped off the data ends of the data cables, because I'm not going to use them anyway. So, if I pop got one of these super handy uh, battery meter jobbies, one of those in here, and it says 5 volts at, you know, some quantity of amps, where's the button, there's the button, how well can you see that, hopefully you can see that, I turn that on, there you go, you'll see it's drawing 1.3 amps, 1.4 amps, 1.4 amps, and that's when it's heating up, which realistically is going to be when it's at its hottest. The white setting here uses 1.4 amps because I bet it's not up to temperature yet. Oh, it's probably turned off because I wiggled the cable. And the blue setting is the coolest, and it's probably also going to be drawing the same amount of amps because it's not heated up yet. So, um, I know that this is loosey goosey in here. What I'm going to do then is chop the end off this and resolder this extra USB on. Now, the important part is we've got four individual strands of cable running through here. They probably doubled them up. Um, flat cable doesn't get tangled as well, but they probably doubled them up so that <coughs> it can handle extra current load. Obviously this won't have that when I'm done with it because I'm not getting one of these ends and that's fine for, for you know my use not going to matter in the slightest. Professionally, you should replace like for like or just buy a new one because this obviously won't be as waterproof as you know when it's uh, when it's come out of the factory. I'm not going to be putting a moulded plug on this, so I'm just going to separate these out. It should hopefully be these two and these two, but I'm going to separate them just in case. So I thought I want to work out what the pinout is on this because I don't know what side goes to the plus and what side goes to the minus because none of it's labelled and I can't remember which one of these is plus and minus but no matter I will just use my multimeter and make it the same on both of these ends. Um, I thought I'd cut away at this plug until I found out what pad each bit goes to and that seems like a fairly easy way to go about it doesn't it? So hopefully you either get to watch me cut my fingers off with this really, 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 really sharp Stanley knife that I've just put a new blade in. Should I cut away from me? I should cut away from me, shouldn't I? Get demonetized for gore or something. And hopefully, once I take enough of this outer off, we will see the, uh, the insides and then I can work out what wire goes to what and replicate it on my new bit of plug. That's the goal anyway. Okay. 
most of that off there. Bit more of a slicey slice. I'm staying within frame here. I did also forget to wipe the lens because I'm a bad person. Should I do that now? I feel like I should probably probably do that now just in case it's horrible and gammy. Okay, don't know if that made a difference or not, but anyway. Right, so we've got this here. It looks to have been moulded in with, I mean, I think, I think that's hot glue. You can see where the cable's been damaged as well, I think. So we should hopefully be able to see the failure point. Realistically, I could go in there and fix it, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to go for new goodies. That's what I'm going to go for. I mean, knowing this, that's enough data, really, isn't it? That's all I need to know. Is, uh... Simply one side, I don't need to look at the other side, do I? So that lot is clearly going to the big pin on that side, and that lot is clearly going to the big pin on this side. Therefore, if I look at my USB, my new cable, identically, and I use my meter to just beep test these, I'll see which side's pause, which side's neg. So meter to continuity mode. So it beeps, and if I look at <clears throat> what do I want to do first? Let's say this this pair here, which is on that side of the plug, same way round. I want to be looking at that pin there. Hopefully the shield doesn't connect to all this because that will throw me off. What? It's got to be one of them, doesn't it? Or did I accidentally chop the important parts off this plug? Oh no. Is it one of these? What? It's got to be one of them, doesn't it? Can't be none. There you go. So it's the negative on that side, and then if I pop that on the positive pin, I get a beep. So we know that negative is over there, and positive is this side. So I could put a little minus and a little plus there to help me remember. Make sure I'm not being crazy. Negative. Doesn't beep to the positive, and on the positive side, beeps on the pos, and not on the neg. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? So, I'll make sure these are the same way around. They are. So I'm going to solder this pair to yep that pair to the negative. So let's cut these off. As I say, I'd imagine these were doubled up to uh, increase the current carrying capacity. Oh, it's it's cable like that. I see. Right. Oh, can you even strip it? Or does the insulation just stretch? Oh, this will be fun. Give me some cable. Yay, got some cable. Okay. That'll do. doesn't look overly discoloured or anything, which is great news. Okay. What I'll do then is I'll twirl those together. Apply a little bit of flux. My soldering iron hasn't gone to sleep yet, which is great. In those and my new cable then that was the negative side 
I'm going to solder those together in a way that's going to be super easy to do, just like that. Oh. What's that look like? It's a bit of excess solder, but excess solder isn't a problem. It's strong and that's what's important. And should we go for electrical tape? Let's go for electrical tape. Should probably heat shrink hot glue, you know, the whole nine yards. But um, this is going to work just fine for what I need it to do, which is heat up and survive. I did it more than one wash would be nice, but you know, I'll take zero washes if I have to. And then this one, I can probably chop it just there and use this bit that's already sticking out. Oh, or not, because that's where the wire was broken. Look at that. It was broken inside there. Uh, ah. The more you know. So what have I got to work to? I've got to work to about there. Okay. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. Right to about there. Very well. Oh no. Well, I've got to work to about there now. <laughs> oh. oh no. We're losing cable, lads. And ladies. Oh, I got one. Okay, this is all of a sudden not going to be very pretty. Cable. Okay, we've got enough to make a connection. I'm probably going to end up bundling all this together and just dousing it in uh, in hot glue. I think it's going to be the best way to get around this problem I've created for myself. I love a good bodge. I suppose you might call it. Let's just attach those together. When I say attach, I mean just smush the wires and hope that the solder takes. Do, 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 do. Bit of flux. Bit of flux. Oh no. It's all gone on, hasn't it? All gone on. Oh, there's solder on it. A couple of strays there, and I might need picking off. That would be fine. And then I will join those in again a fantastic and professional way. How can I hold that? Yeah, just like that, and then the hot solder can drip on my fingers. Oh, hot, hot, hot. Oh, bollocks. I mean, oh goodness gracious, I have done an oops. Sorry. Not the swearing police. Bunny, 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 bunny. Ah, right, that is beautiful. Look at that. Is that the best soldering job you've ever seen in your life? Oh, it's fantastic. Right, let us stick a bit of tape on that. Um, if you squint, it's mint, I believe is the phrase I would like to use here. I don't want to make excuses for myself, but normally 
I've been working with this about an inch away from my face and trying to keep it in camera shot. I am working with it sort of at, I don't know, half or a quarter of arm's length. So it's not perhaps as neat as I'd like it to be, but it'll, uh, it'll be all right. That'll be fine. Right, does it work? That's the important thing here. Put that on. Where's the button gone? There it is. And you can see it is drawing 1.6 amps. Probably because the cable's a little thinner, but let's try not to dip it in the flux. 1.7 amps. But what's important, no amount of dicking about with the wire is causing the connection to drop. And that's what we like. 1.665 amps. Yeah, so it's 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 heating up. That is fine. Right now, for um, waterproofing slash prettying slash whatever else purposes, I'm thinking we just make a big bobble here. Stick a bit of heat shrink over that. Fill it with hot glue. Pretend we never saw it. That's what I think the uh, the idea is here. Oh, look, a pot of random bits of heat shrink. What will fit over the USB end? Nothing. Great. How about this? Oh, this will fit over the USB end. Fantastic. Look, if I just get that over there. There you go, look, like that. Hmm, that's handy. One of those that goes over it to stop the water getting in when you're, uh, when you're washing it. Nice. Um, what I'll do then, if I heat up that end only, leave this end open, I can dribble hot glue in there, and then it should just sort of squish. Right? Right. That's the plan. I love a bodge. Okay, that's that end mostly sealed up. Hot, 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 hot. Oh, so hot, 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 hot. Right, that'll be a little bit of tape there to keep that shut. Has the hot glue gun heated up? Yes, it's dripping hot glue all over the BMSs. Oh, and all over the shirt. No, no, get off it. Okay. How do I do this without holding it? It's gonna get awful toasty awful quick. What about if I hold that up with that? Can you see this bodgery all right? I think you can see. Let's say that you can. I hope you can, because this is monumentally awful. Right, and then we'll get the hot glue gun. By the way, great hot glue gun, uh, cordless Ryobi, Dewalt adapter, Dewalt battery. Takes all my existing batteries, which is nice. And I'll just position that over there, and then I'll just fill this up with hot glue. Oh, here we go. And it just squirts out the top when it's ready. And then I need to stop that flowing down onto the piece of clothing. How do I do that? Blue roll. There you go. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, it's beautiful. It's just fantastic. What a good job I've done. Turn that off. Heat up the rest of this so it looks at least semi even. Don't drip hot glue on everything. If I heat up the hot glue a bit more in there, it should flow all the way down into my repair. Just need to not uh, heat up the outside stuff up so much that it sets on fire, but hopefully, we're getting it down in. In this area a little bit. Don't feel like it's really flowing to the repair as much as I might want it to, but oh more's pissing out the top. Right, that must be, oh, 
sufficiently melty inside. More has come out the top, so we'll just wipe that away and give it a moment to cool off. <laughs> okay, cool. And, oh, sticky hot. I get a bit of tape on that. Should, in theory, Okay. Cover up the end. Keep the hot glue in place while it sets. And eventually that will stop being sticky and sticking all over my fingers. I can wrap it in this. My dog chewed this because she's a puppy who's about this big. Um, if I wrap that in this car style tape, so it's like a cloth wiring loom tape, straight from AliExpress, all going to look professional, like it's meant to be there. Right? Right, that's what I thought too. Oh, it already looks professional, you say? Hot oh, glue all over the fingers. Why, thank you. Oh, oh, hot. Hot, hot, hot. Those, one of those. Um, this is in theory very similar to how I do a bike wiring repair. Uh, I think should normally end up looking a little bit pretty. I try and use the right right size heat shrink. If I forgot to slide heat shrink on first, I would of course undo it, put heat shrink back on. But this is my jacket, and I don't care. It bothers me not. It's not like you can see it. The wire is hidden inside the uh, jacket pocket. It's got a pocket for the battery to sit in here. So, let's see if that still works, shall we? Or if I've melted everything. We've got... Turn the battery on. Might help. And we've got... 5 volts. And the amp drill's gone up to... 1.7 amps. And the jacket is heating up. There you go. It's all in frame. You can see it. Can you focus? Yeah, there you go, you can focus. So that is um, just a beautiful job, I think. Really, absolutely fantastic. And it's gonna last forever. It's gonna be no problems, it's not gonna break off the first wash. And I think I should be really, really, really proud of that. It's an excellent show of craftsmanship. And if you don't get sarcasm or you don't like it, this video is not for you, because uh, oh, it's a bit, it's just not great, that is it. Just not great. But it works, and that's what's important, and it should be reasonably solid and not just snap. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you like watching me be an idiot, I uh, do this all day, every day. And um, you can like the video, dislike the video, leave a comment, tell me I'm an idiot, and uh, my rings are going to get my hands blown up. <sighs> Subscribe, channel member, share it with your friends. Post it all over Facebook saying, look at what this silly human's doing. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.